Good morning, Tabernacle Worship. Welcome to our morning daily devotion. And uh, today I would like to entitle my short sharing as Pure Worship Tried by Fire. Pure Worship Tried by Fire. And the scripture today is taken from 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 6 to 7. And I've taken it from the NET Bible. Okay. It says, This brings you great joy, although you may have to suffer for a short time in various trials. Such trials shows the proven character of your faith, which is much more valuable than gold. Gold that is tested by fire, even though it is passing away, it will bring praise and glory and honour when Jesus Christ is revealed. You know, I'm so thankful that we can worship God anytime. God is to be worshipped all the days of our life. God is to be glorified at all times. Uh, we say both in the ups and downs, both in the good and also and in the bad. But the formation of true worship of our lives as an offering to the Lord must be tried and true. Yeah, Worship that is untested and unrefined is considered only maybe half worship. Half worship. I say this because worship is to be offered up in faith. And our faith in God must be tested and refined by fire. You see, when Abraham's faith was tested, he had to offer up worship offering of his one and only son Isaac. It was not uh, only an e it's not an easy thing to do. In fact, it was the most difficult sacrifice ever made in history. His faith and his worship of God was severely tested, and until he remained steadfast to the very end, to pull that dagger towards. That his son, God honoured that worship because it was tried and true. It was tried and tested. Today, some of us might have things in our life that we go through. It is hard to lift our hands and worship. There are struggles in our life that we face that are so hurtful, so painful, uh, that it is difficult to offer up sacrifice of worship. The scripture that we just read in 1 Peter verse 1, 6 to 7 tells us that we will have to suffer in various trials for a moment. Why this is so? This is for the very purpose of our formation and the maturation of our character of our faith. This is a must. No true believer of Christ can avoid it. Why? Because it is much more valuable than gold. That's what the Bible says. Faith that is tried through the testing of fire is what the Lord desires and He wants that from us because it will only result in worship of God that is worthy of praise, glory and honour when the day Jesus comes for us again. What an awesome worship display that is fitting for the second coming of our Lord Jesus. But today, as we read the scripture, let us be reminded that pure worship that we offer to God must be tried by fire. And so I want to encourage you, brothers and sisters, today that uh, whatever you're going through, do not allow the enemy to rob your worship of God that is rightfully His, belongs to God, okay? Offer your best worship in the moment, in the midst of your suffering, in the midst of your hardship. You know why? Because the Lord sees your heart and He will reward you. Remember to hang on and to pull through because the day will come, will finally arrive when rejoicing comes in the morning. Amen. So I want you to hang on there and always offer your true worship unto the Lord 
because it must be tried by fire and testing. Amen. The Lord bless you and you have a great week ahead. Okay?